Ooh, me likey. Let's go. Geeks, what's poppin'? Jessica Drew, Spider-Woman. I don't know this outfit, never seen it, but I love it. Genetically enhanced, Jessica Drew takes on a security job that is more than it seems, bringing Spider-Woman face-to-face with Nemesis, new and old. She comes with a pair of wall-crawling hands and a set of fists. I think she looks really good, but a couple things are disappointing. Number one, she's got pinless elbows, but she's got pin knees. Number two, those feet. Standing her up, standing her up is a romp in a trash dump. The reason is that the forward motion, the toe pointing up, you can get no range there. The top of the foot bucks up against the plastic on the bottom of her ankle. Now, pointing down isn't a problem, but here, it's basically flat. And because of her hair, She's a little top heavy leaning backwards. So if you put her feet flat and straighten her body up and you put her down, she automatically falls. Well, she was falling backwards before, but now she's falling forward. But yeah, there you go, falling backwards every time. And so for me to get her to stand up, I had to pop her forward at the thighs and then take her upper torso rocker and push it back. So from the front, geez, look how, look how ridiculous it is. So from the front, it looks like she's standing up straight, but if you turn to the side, you can see that her back is arched. That's straight up, and now it looks like she's leaning forward. So to me, that's a big oversight. They really messed that up, and it's disappointing. And you can see here, her thighs look way too big for the butt. Look how they're protruding there. I do not like that at all. I've seen that in a couple of figures with these old legs. So it's a tail of two spiders. From here up, I really like her. I love the new costume. I love the black and yellow. I love the spider symbol. Head sculpt looks really good. Hair looks good. Now I like the paint on the back of her calves and I like the paint on her shoes, but I do not like her legs, hip area at all. I think it's a big miss. All right, with this hair, you do get a 360, climbs over her shoulders. You get pretty good tilt right. Not as steep tilt and left. Looking down is a little bit hindered by her hair. It's kind of looking down-ish. Looking up is pretty much no-go. Arms get up yay high. Spider huggy, nice and snuggy. Web span, see what I did there. Ooh la la, pinless double jointed elbows give you great range. You have 360 at the shoulder, intermittent clicks, 360 at the bicep, 360 at the wrist. Get your repulsive blast and you kiss the ring. A little bit of crunch. Good serve on a wheelie way back. Lean with it. Rock with it. Roll with it. 360 up top. 360 at the thigh cut. No boot cut, boo. 360 at the foot. Feet are on rockers. Boo on the split for a spider character. Band damage is shallow. Bend over is solid. Get that ironing board. Kick is great. Double jump to pin knees. Don't quite kick her butt. Toe range pointing down is excellent. Superb even. Toe range pointing up is trash. She's about five and three quarter inches. And there she is with the whole wave. It's a lot of talk online about this being a weak wave. Do I agree? Let me see. I love the Daredevil. Love the Rose. I love the Ben Riley Spider, even though a lot of people don't. Spider Woman, I love half of her. Miles Morales, I love. Tarantula, uh, what I say? I think he looks really good and serves a purpose. I just don't think he should have been on that old body. And we're not going to talk about whoever that is all the way to the left. All right, let me know what you think. Sound off in the comments. Do you like the Spider-Woman? Am I going too hard on her? 
What do you think of the wave in general? Sound off in the comments. Let's talk about it. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, share a link with a friend that loves the classic Marvel Legends like we do. As always, thanks for the support. Keep coming back for more. Till next time, geek out.